Well, uh, 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 not. I mean, at Nielsen's the other day. Ah, oh, that's been a few weeks. Pulling out of there. I'm a Southern, you know. Uh, and, there's a, and there's a car coming this way. There's a car coming this way. And there's a car coming out of the other shopping center. They cross the street this way. All at one time, they were converging. And so I pull out to get in that little center thing. I don't know what I mean. And these cars are all coming at one time. And Debbie's just, she's losing her, she's just losing her. I mean, oh, and I threaded the needle between all three and all of you, my guys. Did you see and Debbie's that? like, what just happened there? Debbie's sitting there. <laughs> you know, and I threaded the needle. We were so poor. I mean, I'm, we were lucky. Well, I wasn't creamed in that little wagon. But I knew what I was doing the whole time. I, oh, I knew I knew I was threaded that needle. Absolutely. The only reason you made it is because your number ain't up. It ain't up. That's right. I can't remember the way I live it. My number's not up. Somebody ain't done with you yet. You ain't done with me, man. They haven't given up on me yet. (laughs) You know, Frank, how lucky you are to have a woman like Debbie. Keep telling me. You are so lucky. If you had.